What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. I want to light up your world. And that's why I want to show you this by Sansi. It's LED, Sansi LED is their website, but this is an LED light. I picked it up here. And as you can see, outdoor LED floodlights. And so this should be a fairly large light. Hey, I just said that. Stop stealing my stuff, Sansi. What we have here are a couple of bolts. Looks like they have like a floating sleeve on the on the inside of here, on the middle, and then nicely packaged. Wow, look at this. So not only that, but we get a Sansi remote. Wow, this thing is actually way more elaborate than I expected. On, off, I mean, this is like more <laughs> detailed than my TV remote. All plastic, but it's got a, like a little brushed metal finish, like finish on it. Uh, white, red, green, blue, strobe, flash, fl fade, smooth, M mode one, two, um, directional controls, white, and wow, we've got a lot of in-between colors here, everything from orange to cyan. All right, and here is the light itself, and let's see if we can take it apart here. Two-prong, non-grounded outlet, a very heavy cable on this bad boy. And in terms of length of cord, let's see if I can just stretch it out here a little bit. I'm gonna call it uh, five feet, six feet maybe. And then what we have here is on the uh, light itself, we have a couple of adjusting knobs here so you can tighten this in. That'll allow you to swing this lower metal bracket. As you can see, there's some slots here. You could actually bolt this to a wall, make it a permanent fixture. You can see the LEDs in the back here. And then uh, you can, I think these are, I guess, are the other colors in there that make the colors that you need. Really well vented. Obviously, you can see all the way through there. And then the housing here is probably about an inch, inch and a quarter thick maybe, and then uh, another three quarters of an inch back there. So in terms of total overall thickness, a couple inches. So um, I am guessing that it projects that way. And you can see how much venting we have that passes all the way through here. So let's just see what we can do here. I'm just gonna go ahead and see if I can find an outlet wall. No, outlet, there we go. All right, plugged in, whoa, all right. Um, that's bright, man. <laughs> you know, I kind of thought with the little frosted lens on there that, man, it wouldn't be as bright as it is, but it is. And now on this remote, as you can see here, I need to open up this back and it's going to take uh, two AAA batteries. So I'm going to throw some of those in here. All right. So I've got batteries in. And one thing I will tell you is that in order to use the remote, you do have to be kind of facing the front of it. If I put the remote back here and hit on, doesn't seem to pick it up so the sensor must be in the front here somewhere and now I just thought we would try I think all the lights are on so I'm getting kind of white light although you can see man it is stinking bright I'm trying not to look directly at it so it looks like we're getting white let's see if we go to red green blue and strobe flash which looks like it scrolls to different colors fade fades to different colors and then smooth. That's pretty cool. I'm not sure if we can, I'm not exactly sure what these do. No, no, I don't know what the control panel does there. Let's see if we go to orange, coral, let's jump a little, cyan, orchid, yellow, Indigo, uh, aqua, how about gold? Ooh, everyone likes gold. Listen, man, this thing, <laughs> this thing puts out a lot of light, I'll tell you that. I did not expect these two little uh, frosted lenses to put out as much light. I think this is really cool for holidays, especially if you go here to kind of a smooth light color transition, you know, put it on the front of your house and your flower bed, you know, below your flagpole, whatever, and uh, let the colors kind of rotate pretty cool and obviously you can use it a little bit like a spotlight you know having an outdoor party I could just go to white maybe you're having a blue party you can set it to blue give it a cool a uh, little cool effect like this you know I'm gonna put this outside and because it's basically meant as an outdoor LED floodlight I'm not worried about the elements the temperature um, ruining it or anything like that I obviously meant to do that so 
looking forward to getting it out there and brighten it up. And the cool thing is, if I look out the window and want to turn this on or off, I can just do that with the remote as opposed to going out and having to unplug it or use it uh, on a powered switch or something like that. So check it out. Uh, I am going to roll in some footage of it outside. Link for this bad boy in the description below. Peter Von Panda. Out.